Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Happy New Year. It is now 2023. Um, a couple days past 2023. It was January 1st, but whatever. Up here in Reno. I know you guys uh, have been waiting for more videos, so i trying to make another video for you guys. Uh, out here in Reno, just landed. Picking up some fuel and bringing a ferry back home. Just dropped off my passengers. There's a little buffy coming in. We got this big weather system coming in over California and a lot of rain and snow. But, uh, Winds are calm down here. Uh, we got snow packed, it's wet, but it's, it's not snowing, it's not icy or anything. So we don't have to de-ice or anything, we'll just be out of here. So a quick flight back to North Las Vegas. Uh, got one of my uh, first officers today, Tom and Naha. He's gonna be uh, sitting in the right seat with me today. Um, yeah, but I don't know. I'm gonna have him trying to film. So it'll pretty much be like more single pilot flight today. Uh, he'll probably help out a little bit on the right side. Um, but yeah, we're just flying back empty home. Decided to bring you guys along and hope you guys enjoy the video. Once again, thanks for tuning in, liking, and subscribe. Keep commenting. I'll try to answer as much as I can if you have any specific questions. If I got the time to look at it, I'll try to explain it. But um, yeah, we're back in the 24 again today. We got some weather, so we might see some weather today. Um, I think it's raining in Vegas a little bit, but it's kind of hot pit mist. It says it rains, but it never does. Um, but yeah, um, welcome aboard. How you doing? Oh! <laughs> I'm going good! Ready for pickup on IFR. Alright. Flying with the Tom is always great. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'll go ahead and get the uh, jacket off and get ready. Here's my 55 Clear Terminal 5 Vegas. Zipper 7 departure, pesk transition, then I'll smile. Columbia said, Clock six three two seven. All right, Thomas getting the flight plan in here. I'm gonna go ahead and run right a little quick through. Burst starts. Okay, cast check and beacons on idle and battery check through. Here it goes right in and start. There's our light off, fuel flow's good. Alright. No GPS, uh, uh, no GPU, after coming down to 15. Go about 2.0.
So about 50 minutes to flight. Speed, you can use 92. Ninety two, one oh two, and one seventy. Thank you. All right, starting number one engine. Rough speed, you can use ninety, ninety four, actually. 94, 95, actually, sorry, 94, 104, 170, 104, One seven left is runway departure off the Zephyr Pinsky transition. Nineteen two is departure. By level one nine zero to top altitude. Controls, AVX, check the doors all removed, left engine is started, ECS is normal. Cast checked all clear. Take off, right, ready for taxi. United 2644, I'd like to push back Charlie 3. Caller second. It's United 2644, request push Charlie 3. United 2644, on your ground, push back to Scrap Runway 17, right on the service. One thing more, and how's the service? Fire note, make for its operational. Attentional air grant. Hazardous weather information for. That's this. All right, you ready? I'm ready. You set? Yep. Good afternoon, Reno Ground, Valeris Mina. There you go. <laughs> yes. What's <laughs> the tangle now? Yeah, it's tangle. Yeah, that's a chain. Okay. Good. Valeris Mina request taxi from November 1 to Charlie 8. Valeris Mina, it's Reno Ground for stay as requested. Use caution. Stating as requested, using caution. Flares Mainer. Ground, there's Mark 55, information Tango, Atlantic, ready to stack me. Mark 55, underground, runway 17 left, back to Charlie. 17 left, via Charlie, Air Smart 55. Alright, 17 left, via Charlie. Okay, brakes are good. Lights, it's all normal. 
IPS is all normal. Auto. ATC clearance, we got it. Squawk 6327. Defer departure, it's up to flight level 190. We'll be nav and out. Approaching, 3, 5, right. Actually, we Charlie at the 17. Left. Take off briefing, we got 92, 92, 102. Any abnormal malfunctions prior to 50 knots will board after 50 knots. We only report for engine fire, failure, or loss of directional control. We got plenty of runway, and uh, if anything, we'll come back here. We can shoot, uh, we can even shoot the visual coming back in here in case of emergency, but uh, we're gonna get it on. We got the departure in there. We got our, our transponder set, uh, yeah, we're good to go. You got any questions? No, sir. All right, trim set. Take off briefings complete. Passengers not on board. Line of checks. There's a nice uh, Kodiak. There's BC24 up there. Yeah. Two two Papa Bravo. And there's a caravan of boats. So I got a Tama filming today. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully it's not too uh, too crazy, but hopefully you're able to like pan around. And yes, I do. All the nice pictures. Got a cameraman too. Yep. All right, I'll switch tower. Put in a departure in there. Need to. And towers are smart fit five, we ready at the end. Smart 5 5 Reno Tower awaiting IFR release. Standing by, Smart 5 5. Alright, no waiting for release. Lots of snow up there. Then we got Smart 55 wind calm, runway 17 left, clear for takeoff. 17 left, clear for takeoff, here, Smart 55. Alright, final's clear. Final clear. Alright, here we go. Auto throttles are armed. One seven left. Auto throttles engaged. Take off power set. Air speed's live. Fifty knots. Project. Three one. Rotate. Oh, the reef gear's coming up. Well, damn, vertical speed, half. Both on 35s are coming up. Auto throttle. 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 Smart 55, contact North Cal departure, good day. Cal departure, Smart 55, yeah. North Cal departure, Air Smart 55, 6000, climb flight level 190, via the different. Air Smart 55, North Cal departure, radar contact, expect lights to occasional moderate turbulence. Yep. Southwest 2064, expect lights to occasional moderate turbulence. Uh, 2064, yes sir, we've had it. Definitely moderate, moderate chop. Moderate. Maybe a couple moderate, moderate, moderate. turbulence. Yeah, I'll throw us kicking off here. Just go manual. 17, 18, 10. Flight level change, 200 knots, or just climb up and get up and over it as much as we can. Get in a good rate, about three, four thousand feet a minute right now. Here's 455. There could be some uh, moderate turbulence closer to 17, 18,000. Alright, copy that, here's my fifty five. It'll be a bumpy ride. All right, we're doing about 5,800 feet a minute. 6,000 feet a minute. 
10,000 feet checks. Southwest 2064, proceed direct clock, reduce speed to 210 or less. 2064, direct clock, speed 210 or less. About 5,000 feet a minute. That's right. We'll be level off at maybe speed or dust. Exactly one minute. Clock at or above 10,000. Third on at Yankee runway 17 left approach. So 20, 64, 210 or less. We are clear to our nav Yankee runway uh, 17 left. Still climbing 6,000 feet a minute. Pretty cool. Air Smart 55, just wait for center to take the hand off so they can give you higher. Yep. Let's see, 25, 75 for center, I bet. Coming up on transition, 292. Air Smart 55. Oakland Center, Air Smart 55, one, uh, flight level 190. Air Smart 55, Oakland Center, climbing change level 250. Climbing change level 250, Air Smart 55. And Oakland Center, number 90, zero to my flight level 250. Number 90, zero Lima Yankee, Oakland Center, Roger, and who else called? Yeah, you can see all the rain in California. Big splatter here up in uh, Southern California. It's just been constantly getting compounded with uh, rain. And big heard on the radio earlier that uh, Hawthorne actually flooded. They shut down the airport there. I got so much water going through the streets, I bet. But look at the Vegas, looks pretty fine here. I'm gonna check the weather right now. See you here what we got. Latest weather, we got uh, 20, 53 pound hour goes, 10 miles light range, 7,000 overcast, 3003, 1,000 feet to go. Okay. We'll have to keep our speed a little slow. For this uh, bumpy ride. Winds are blowing about 112 knots from the right. We've got about 95 knot crosswind, about 60 knots on the nose right now.
Center, Spirit Wings, 2233. Brett. Sorry, you're coming in uh, really broken. I just didn't know if you had another frequency in case uh, we lose you on this one. No, I have a few different transmitters. I was trying to do an aircraft on the ground at Bishop. Uh, how do you hear this one? Oh, that one's loud and clear. Great. Yeah, center shuttle fifty eight nineteen. Right. So how's your day going, Tom? It's great. Shuttle fifty eight nineteen, go ahead. Hey, we're nice uh, quite right. a bit of moderate shop here, twenty eight. Is it better down a little bit? A little lower? bit turbulence today, but um they're not, they're not complaining about sure. it. Did you a little choppy. A little choppy. Sure. Yeah, a little choppy. Yeah, better bit. I've uh, seen a, whole, a lot worse. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Sometimes very, very yeah. heavy, but um, yeah, it's, it's, it's not choppy. Not bad. Just slow it out a little bit. Okay, you know? one, it's uh, light to moderate chop, all altitudes over the mountains there, and then after that it's light chop. So you guys want to hear a crazy story? Is, uh, no, I don't think so. Tama is a flight instructor, and he actually signed me off for my private prior check <laughs> When Back you were when I was like 16, 60 or 17 <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> Little did you know you'd be fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you? Yeah. So you know, little, little kids, yeah, I think he yeah, was 16 years old kid, your dad told me to hey, sign you off. Because he trained everything. <laughs> I don't know how to do anything. You, 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 you. You're ready. <laughs> I just flew, sign off, and then he took a check away, right? Pretty much. We were 17. 17, yeah. Yep. So, yeah, Tom and my father back in Japan, and they used to fly together at the Aero Club, and he was one of those flight instructors. And of course, my dad taught me how to fly, did all my flight training, but he couldn't. He was the only DPE in the in the country there. And so, in order for me to do a check ride with my father, I needed a recommendation for the check ride by another instructor. And Tama was that instructor. That was. What? 20, 25, 26, yeah, 27 years ago? Years, years ago. Yeah, that's crazy how time. But yeah. And now, currently works in AirSmart. <laughs> So he packed up all the stuff from Japan <laughs> and made a full life change yeah, following right. his dream to be a pilot. Commercial. Yes, actually your dad, Bobby, hired me as a flight instructor. I have almost no experience as a flight instructor. So he taught me everything as a flight instructor. And uh, now you hire me as a starser of stuff <laughs> and a flight instructor here in the Air Smart Vegas. But hey, next month you upgrade to a captain on the PC-12 and uh... <laughs> it'll be all fun. Yeah. It's fun to fly. Yeah, we're just uh, not much to look out outside. Oh, uh, we're in the soup still. Yep. No ice or anything. It's pretty... Yeah, we got a ramp. Temperature negative 11, uh, it's negative 30 outside, so it's not really picking up anything. It's kind of spread out. Not too bad. Minus 30 now. We'll be landing in about 43 minutes, 40 minutes. Not too bad, we got these headwinds and I kind of got the speed back down, turned down a little bit, so... But it is. Minus 2644, so Judge Bonneville. Minus 3438, contact NorCal approach, 119.2. Let's see here. Today, Monday, Monday. Yeah, I just got done racing with the girls yesterday. They were racing all weekend, so. Yeah, it's more continuous modern here. 26, any chance of going back up? Shuttle 58, 19, climbing change out of the 280. 280, shuttle 58, 19. American 15, 26. See all the weather off the side here. There's a wind or about. Continuous light Crosswind. chopper 280, about 50 miles out of you. Okay, thank you. Here's a cool feature about synthetic vision, uh, synthetic vision that a lot of people don't know, but here's our visual cue. This is what we're actually going to be seeing when I look straight outside the window up in front of my nose. But, you know, the synthetic vision has us tracking because of the crosswind. So, 
when I look out my window, I don't really see this mountain here. I usually see this mountain off to the side here. So, you got to be careful with that. So when you got heavy crosswind, this is your visual cue. When you look up the nose, you see this point, not what's exactly on your path, because we're crabbed at a different angle. Usually when you don't have a crosswind, this V is all hidden behind all this mumbo jumbo and you don't really notice it. <laughs> tip of the go. day, tip of the day. We got an 88 knots crosswind today. Yep, we got, yep, winds are 88 knots. Skyway's 5611, climb and maintain flight level 260. Climb and maintain 260, Skyway's 5611. Not much of a view. So you can stare at us for an hour. <laughs> Usually I just throw a head cam so I don't have to worry because I'm flying single pilot. But today we'll try something a little different. So. Yeah, we, yeah, we got approaching traffic. He's a thousand feet above us. Uh, looks like he's on our same uh, airway. Then you can see our closure rate. The 600. Oh, he disappeared. Oakland, yeah, the closure rate is like 600 knots, so we're doing 350 knots, he's probably doing 250 knots, 300 knots, that's what our closure rate is. Yeah. There's another aircraft. Oh, you came back up on radar there. So our closure rate is like 600 knots, so when we pass each other, we'd be doing like 600 knots when it flies by. That's the difference in speed that we're going to see when he flies right by us. Almost close to the speed of sound. We got Bishop over here, we got Mammoth. Too much snow, Mammoth's got. What's the weather going for Mammoth right now? We can pull that up. Calm winds, half a mile visibility, moderate snow. Building over house, 500 feet. I don't think anybody's getting into Mammoth today. <laughs> That's pretty. But you can't always trust us. Um, sometimes those AWOSs are a little bit off, depending on where it is at the airport. If you look at the radar here, it's, I mean, this is X7 and it is outdated, but there could be a line right here, like, you know, I, sometimes when I'm waiting to go into Mammoth and I, I pull up the webcam and you can see the airport webcam and it's blue skies, but the AWOS is doing something totally different. So, I like to use all my resources and not just what those little robots tell me. I think the webcams are like the best things ever on the airport for checking weather, obviously, because you... Especially if they have multiple cameras, you can see where the weather is. It's on the east side of the airport, west side of the airport, north or south. They tell you get a lot of information on that. how bad California is. I don't even know where I'm at. Oakland Center, B-Liner 89 or level 280? B-Liner 89 or Oakland Center, reset transponder, 1774. 1774, like Santa, Santa Barbara's getting hit pretty good. They said the airport was closed on Hawthorne, so let's see if that's Skyway, actually goes up on their There's Hawthorne. Climb maintain 250, Weather. Overcast 1000. Doesn't say the airport's closed or anything. 
Everybody's getting uh, pounded here. Do what they're doing at Camarillo. I don't know if I'm saying that right, I can't pronounce they're gusting 31 knots, 3 miles visiting, thunderstorms, or moderate rain, moderate wind, broken. Special. Yeah, all this rain is good, but when it comes summertime, it might be bad again, because <laughs> now we're going to deal with uh, all these fires again, once all this new grass starts growing, and then it gets dry again. Looks like we're starting to smooth up again. Go ahead and start going faster here. Get the auto throttle back in here. Auto throttle. Auto throttle. Auto throttle. They're not liking auto throttles today. Auto throttle. Gonna have to have to check take a look at that one. But one likes to get pulled back a little early and it disconnects it itself because there's a split. Las Vegas uh, is coming out north of five knots. So I wonder if they're using three zeros or one two. We'll just put one two right in there. There's Skywest 5611. Alaska 6076 is up on 2575. Private jet. 205, we'll see you at 6120. It's reporting. Hey, looks like we broke out of the, the crap there. We got some blue skies on the other side. We got a hole down there, down below. I'm not going to punch through it. <laughs> but, uh, looks pretty good now. Get down that weather. Top of 327, uh, clear, direct Kila, and your best forward speed. Direct Rain is easy. Speed, top of Snow is not fun. <laughs> I don't know how people do that every day. I did it before a long time ago. I don't want to do it. 33, 45. 33, 45, American 28. Having the de-ice and all that stuff and waiting around. So we have custom shaders in our, our plane. We had uh, custom made. It's kind of like, it's like tended windows. Unfortunately, our planes didn't come with, uh, we have the very, you know, our the plane was serial number 15 out of the factory and they didn't develop the window shade for the plane yet so when we picked up delivery they weren't out on development yet so the newer planes have a little slide up uh, curtain type uh, windscreen here but uh, we didn't have that option so it's kind of cool. Traffic, send me a file 230. Alright, send me a file 230. 23 is set. So, in lieu of not having that, we installed the, these little custom jet shades that we cut out and we just pop them in there and they pop right out if you need to pull them out or not, but it gives you a little different view from the outside. It's got this little chrome, looks like we have tinted windows on the inside here. 
Circuit 2830, Salt Lake 3345. Southwest 478, the Sentiment Capital 240. Sentiment Capital 240, Southwest 478. 90 Lima Yankee, change to my frequency 128.8. 128, November 90, Lima Yankee. Air Shuttle 5819, contact Seattle on, uh, let's see here, uh, 127.0, or 134.9. Michelle 5819, contact Seattle 349. Air Shuttle 5819. Air Shuttle 5819. Can you do me a favor, switch over to uh, 2575 and try to raise a Air Shuttle 5819 to the frequency 125.75. Air Shuttle 5819, if you get them, I have a frequency for them. Uh, 20, just put them on your current one, 288. So go to 2575 for 288, and the call in Air Shuttle 5819. Air Shuttle 5819, uh, Delta 2520. Air Shuttle 5819, go ahead. Yeah, uh, Center's looking for you on uh, 1288. 1288, thank you, Air Shuttle 5819. So 5819, thank you. Uh, you should be on uh, frequency 2520, you still there? I appreciate the uh, help with that, thank you. 1 8 Romeo to Cinema 10, 1 4 thousand. 1 4 4 2 thousand, 1 8 Romeo. Southwest 878, speed to. Uh, yes, yeah, so 1935 for Nellis Control is going to be our next frequency. At 651, reduce your indicator to 20 knots, that's the new one. Uh, three, 20 now, we'll slow to 300. about 25 minutes to go. I don't know if I want to, you have any questions? <laughs> <laughs> now I'm starting to get a little chilly, hopefully. Air 255, contact LA Center 124.62. 2462, Air Smart 55. 2462, then they'll give us their analysis. LA Center, Air Smart 55, flight level 230. Air Smart 55, LA Center, Roger. LA Southwest 327. Alright, the winds have calmed down a bit. They're now showing 60 knots from the uh, across from the right side here. Air Southwest 878, flight level 250. Calmed down just a little bit as we got lower, but like 2,000 feet above us back there was uh, almost 100 knots off to the side. Not bumpy anymore, it's a lot smoother now. Delta 2040, you think And a lot of people ask about these little balls. If you're sitting in your seat, you should line up that little white ball with the in between the blue ball behind you, and that's your ideal sight picture. So every time you get in the seat, you can always readjust yourself to... Do I ever use it? Not really. 
<laughs> but that's what it's for. Eric Smart 55, descend to maintain flight level 210. Descend to maintain flight level 210, Eric Smart 55. Alright, 21 set. Go down there, about 1500 feet, vertical speed. There we go. Smart 55, contact now, let's control 119er point three five. 1935, Smart 55. There, 1935. Now control, Air Smart 55, flight level 217, descending to 210. Air Smart 55, now control, I got you loud and clear. This enemy team, Curtin, descend now to 17,060, plus your arrival, no similar to 998. Alright, descend now to 17,000, and then, uh, did you say descend via the Fletcher one? Air Smart 55, paper. Copy that, Air Smart 55, now to 17,000, and then descend via the Fletcher one. Arrival, Air Smart 55. Alright, clear descent via, and the 17,000 now, so we're just going to keep it going down. I'm going to check my VN out of here. So I'm going to go ahead and wait till I level off at 17,000. Once I level off at 17,000, then I'll arm my V-Nav and get it, uh, the FMS all situated. We got uh, Kiki at or above 10,500 feet and Kaku at 9,000. Under 250 and below 230 on the speed here. Altimeter 2998. We're now leveled off at 17,000. We are cleared to descend via the Fletcher 1. BNAV is armed, BNAV is captured. Now we just sit back and watch. I can go ahead and use FMS speeds now. So now the airspeed and the auto throttles are coupled to my flight plan as an F my FMS. So I have these speed restrictions here. So. As we get closer to Kiki and Akako, it will automatically slow me down to uh, below 250 and below 230 for the next one. Next one's gonna be 35-1 for Nellis approach. We'll pick up ADIS in a minute. Balance, cast check, landing briefing. I'm not sure what run we're gonna get. One, two, right, or three, zero, left, one or the other. That'll be a visual once we break through the clouds and ceiling 7,000 feet. So, we flop 33. We got our rest speeds in there. Everything has how it's calculated. Final checks to go. Hopefully with this little left turn here, we get a little push, a little extra tailwind here. Going to our FMS, we've got our top of the set. This is six minutes out from our top of the set, which is going to be at 22:24 Zulu time. 
Now all is 22.18, six minutes, so that's how that works. This is our Zulu time of what time we will arrive at our fixes and how long it'll take us to get to those fixes. So six minutes out, plus five minutes, plus seven, plus nine, all the way through. Or you can look at your total time, we'll be crossing a cockpit at 22.27. And we'll be descending about 1,800 feet a minute, 1,700 feet a minute between the V and out. We'll be crossing Jeff, and you know, we don't have a fix there, but that's where we're going to cross at it with the VNAV plan, is 14,900 feet. Three degree glide, or descent, three degree, three degrees, which is a standard. And then uh, their speed, 280, 250, below 250, below 230. There's your distance, this is the bearing. Uh, hitting a 081, then we're going to go to 0 or 101 for 6.7 miles, that's 11.8 miles, and we are 28.6 miles to golf. Yeah, be off. I can't pronounce it, but on a heading of 096, we see the FMS is telling us 096. Our heading now is 104, so we have a 8 degree cross. Wind direction. Here comes some clouds. We're probably gonna get uh, a little bump from that. It's pretty smooth on top there, so you can kind of see the little smooth layer. So there's some high winds up here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go into manual speed, and we're gonna turn it down about 10 knots. Max speed is 290, indicated down here. So we're going to do about 270, give us a 20 knot buffer in case we get, gets a little wild. It gets way too wild, I mean, to slow it down to like 250, 230 if it gets that bad. So we got about 35 knots on the tail now, so it's kind of helping us out. Bumps, you can feel it. Box drops current. Alright, three zero zero, winds are calm, or er, light, and then uh one twos are in use, so we am landing on one two right. Pretty straightforward, straight in. Here comes our first layer of cloud. No, that wasn't too bad. That looks pretty good to get down here. So there's our alerter. I'm going to go ahead and set my bottom altitude, 9,000. So my V now is set for 9,000. Then we're going to start down. Big, nice little hole through here. You can see Mount Charleston. The backside of it's got a lot of snow. We've been getting a lot of snow up there. We captured our VNAP half now. We started our descent. Now see how accurate this is. It says we're going to cross Jeff at 14.9, right? So we're approaching Jeff about five miles from Jeff. Altimeters three zero zero.
45 minute drive from Vegas, you can see snow. Nice. Sometimes it snows in, in town too, every once in a while. Oh really? Yeah. Huh. Up in the Summerlin area, you get a couple inches sometimes. Doing manual speeds here. I'm going to go ahead and break it down to 250 about now. Oh, we missed it. 14.9. It was 14.9 to pass Jeff right on the dot. The next one, uh, we're going to cross uh, at or above 10.5. And we're going back into the soup. Ice has been detected. The system has turned on its ice protection. The wing anti-ice came on. The cells and the boots are on automatically. Which I didn't have to do anything. This point does all. There we go. Go and slow it down a bit. About two to forty. We have Mount Charleston. Five, 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 Go ahead. Five, 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 about uh, 10 minutes ago at a citation report, severe turbulence at Joe's uh, in depth of the field at 9000. I concur. Smart fit guy. Alright, we just broke out to the bottom. 117 is our next heading. Problem is, we got the strong winds coming out from the the west. There, we have the big mountain, Mount Charleston, right there on the right side. So, right around this altitude is when it starts to get really nasty. Dallas approach seven three one one seven Lima, just departing North Las Vegas, heading three four zero altitude three thousand four hundred, climbing nine thousand five hundred. November 3117, Lima, Nulls departure, Ident. Ident, 17 Lima. And you can see Mount Charleston over there on the right side, you got all that snow over there. Yep. There wasn't a cloud there, there it is. Very good. Whoops. Number 17 Lima, radar contact, three miles north of North Las Vegas, clear through Las Vegas, class Bravo airspace via phone navigation, maintain VFR. Alright, clear through the Las Vegas Yeah, that's pretty nasty, man. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. There goes the shampoo. To get over the valley, it gets a little bit better. <laughs> Alright. Smart 55, the center maintains 7,500. 7,500 or smart 55. Gonna start a descent here. 7,500. Or down nine. I'll get down here. 
Kyle Canyon over there? Yep. Okay. How would, you, how would you describe that? Severe turbulence? It's close to severe, yeah. I mean, there's no damage to us or the airplane or anything, you know, but... I mean, it's pretty bad. I mean, if we're doing... If we're handling like this, those smaller planes are gonna be a lot worse, oh, yeah. you know? But once we get below down to like 6 or 6.5, six it gets better. Like I said, that, there's a... From like 7,000 into the valley of the biggest to 9,000 is like the worst where the rotor the peaks are at 14. There is the airport. Ivan 1, I did not observe, verify 5 miles north of Nellis. Turning eastbound, correction, westbound. Ivan 1, radar contact. I got a feel the side air is more 55. Air Smart 55 field in sight. Air Smart 55, clear visual approach, runway 12 right. Clear to visual 12 right, Air Smart 55. Yeah, need to get us out of here, get us down out of these clouds, or else we can't. You know, we're already at 7,500, there's no way we can do an ILS approach from here because it starts at 5,000, right? One verified signed up to 216,000. Well. One rider. Alright, we're going to switch the runway back to one to your right. Traffic! Traffic! Somebody flying below us here, 1500. Everyone, proceed direct fighter. Smart 55, contact North Las Vegas Tower, 125.7. 257, Air Smart. North Las Vegas Tower, Smart 55, 5000. Air Smart 55, North Las Vegas Tower, straight in, one one two right, one one two right, clear to land. Straight in, one two right, one two right, clear to land, Air Smart 55. Ugh, it's getting cold. Alright, landing gear is coming down. Flaps fit eight right now. Up to the key, coming in. Good three flaps. Alright, landing gear is down 3, green. Flops are set 33, air brakes are still, TPS, all damper, all throws, autopilot's all disconnected. That was a pretty bumpy ride, huh? Yeah. Alright. Glad that we did have passengers. Yeah, they would probably not like that too well. This is one one, make sure approach runway, one two left, clear for the option. Short approach. Uh, clear for the option, one two left, seven one one. This is seven one one, traffic over to Santa Fe is a PC twenty four for the parallel runway. Great the PC twenty four inside seven one one. Air Smart five five traffic uh, midfield left downwind for a short approach is a Cessna to the parallel. And look at Air Smart fifty five. Cessna seven one one, just extend the downwind, I'll call the base. Yeah, that could get speed to extend to seven one one. Yeah, my base. Five hundred. 
100. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Thousand feet remaining. Here's Mark 556, give you a hotel to, uh, to the ramp. Hotel to the ramp, there's Mark 55. Yeah. Alright, lift up these still, flaps are covered up. We're clear left and clear right. Got a golf cart, hopefully, get out of our way. <laughs> Easy day. This morning we took off out of North Las Vegas. Uh, we flew down the thermal, California, picked up our passengers and dropped them off in Reno, and then we're back here in Vegas. Uh, uh, you know what time it is? Two o'clock in the afternoon. Started work at ten. Yep. Pretty easy, huh? Yeah? <laughs> All right. Over the park. Brakes dead, emergency brakes are off, set. Left engine's off, lights are all set. Cool. Hope you guys enjoyed the ride. <laughs> well, back in Vegas, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the ride. We had a bumpy one coming in on that approach, coming our, not approach, but our arrival going in into Vegas. Like I said, we have those super strong gusty winds that are coming out from the west and it hits the Mount Charleston area and it puts us in and that arrival kind of puts us in the middle of that valley and we can get hammered pretty good you just got to watch your speeds and, and hang on right and slow down and just make sure the aircraft stays in, in control but it's another day um, yeah we got this overcast here in Vegas but I hope you guys enjoyed the flight. Once again, this time I guess we got to show something a little different. Some uh, wasn't a smooth ride today, so I hope you guys enjoyed it and maybe you can learn something from it. So don't forget to comment below, like, subscribe. We'll get another video. Maybe I'll take the NGX out for a spin. But oh, I'm thinking of working on getting my helicopter license. So that should be a good one too. So I'll be adding a new certificate or a rating add-on. I don't know what you call it. One of those things, but to be able to fly helicopters soon. 
for fun. Just for fun. So, but thanks for tuning in. Peace.